David here with FigBoodon Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a pen with a brand new design from Narwhal. Well, a somewhat new design. It's a new take on their fairly new Nautilus design I recently reviewed, but with one main difference, which I'll explain here in a bit. But that pen is the Nautilus in Primary Macchiato, which is an exclusive limited edition offering available only through Goldspot, who provided the pens you will see today for review, and for one of which will be given away to one of you. So, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Nautilus Primary Macchiato, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, uh, provide a writing sample, and stay tuned to the end of the review to learn how you can make one of these very cool pens your very own, courtesy of the good folks at Goldspot. The pen arrives in this custom box. Um, I like it when a company takes the extra effort to make a custom box for a limited edition. Uh, inside, there is a little combination user guide and warranty card info. Um, also included with a limited number of these pens are these unique sleeves. Uh, the first 200 customers who purchase this pen will receive this Harris Tweed sleeve. Uh, I just love the close-up pictures of this sleeve. I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, the sleeve says that it is also infused with coffee, which is appropriate for this pen. It was packaged in a plastic bag with some coffee beans, but to me the sleeve really doesn't smell like coffee, so I'm not quite sure what is meant by it being infused with coffee. Um, it's nice though. It kind of makes me want a sport coat out of this material. And then we have the pen. This is the Narwhal Nautilus Primary Macchiato. This Nautilus model is a great step forward for Narwhal. Uh, as I said earlier, I reviewed one of their pens not too long ago, this particular model. Uh, but while Narwhal's earlier offerings were excellent pens at their respective price points, I feel the Nautilus raises the bar for the company and they have done really well with this overall design. This pen is made from a custom Jonathan Brooks resin and is meant to depict a cafe macchiato, which is an Italian style of coffee which contains a small amount of milk, usually foamed. A macchiato in Italian means stained or spotted, so the literal translation of cafe macchiato is stained or marked coffee. With the nature of mixing custom resins, you're going to see some variety from pen to pen. You can see here that this particular model has a fair amount of white, or milk as you will, in keeping with the theme of the pen. Even some more saturated portions here at the very end. Um, then, on this particular model, the coloring is a bit more subtle and the white is a bit more subdued. Um, I like the looks of both. I feel that both have their own merits. Um, I guess it's like if you prefer an espresso, or a macchiato, or a cappuccino. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. I really care for the antique bronze trim on this pen. I feel it looks really, really sharp. On the top, it is inlaid with a rounded piece of bronze containing the limited edition number of this pen. This is a limited edition of 320 pens. Uh, that's a bit of an odd number for a limited edition. Uh, the original intention was to have a run of 300 pens, but Narwhal was able to produce a few additional units from the rod stock they were provided, so the edition grew slightly to a run of 320. Um, I would have thought the pen number would be on top, like 268 out of 320, uh, but this orientation works as well. I got the idea. Uh, then we have the clip, which is the same antique bronze look that is fantastic. Uh, there's some slight texturing on it that gives it a great deal of character. The cap is straight, and then at the end there's a stamped band which has the company name of Narwhal splashing around in some ocean waves, which is appropriate given the oceanic name of the company. Uh, there is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which continues straight until you get to the end where there is a small band signifying the beginning of the piston knob. And then the end of that knob is rounded. The cap twists off with two full rotations, and underneath we have a stainless steel number 6 size nib produced in-house by Narwhal. The nib is available in fine, medium, broad, double broad, 1.1, and an architect. Um, I actually have three different nibs to demonstrate for you in the writing sample. I have a medium, a double broad, and then the architect, which I was really impressed by. It's really fun to use, but you'll see that here in a bit. And here's a look 
at the plastic feed. The section begins with a slight flare and then angles up until you reach the threads, which I don't find to be sharp or uncomfortable if your grip should rest on them. Uh, then there's a medium-sized step up to a brand new feature of this pen, which is the circular ink window. On the previous Narwhal models, there were three ink portholes. Uh, those pens were made from a different material, ebonite. Uh, with this custom resin, I believe for the structural integrity of this pen, those portholes were not possible. So a different ink window option was necessary. Um, while I loved those portholes, uh, I feel this ink window is a good solution and gives you a really good look at your ink situation without taking away from the overall aesthetics of the pen. Uh, the cap for the Nautilus does not post. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't even fit on here, uh, so there is no question whether or not it should be posted. On some pens, uh, the cap kind of posts and you wonder a bit whether or not it's designed to do so, but there's no doubt with this pen, which is fine. I do find it plenty long enough to use unposted. The limited edition Narwhal Nautilus Primary Macchiato can only be found through Goldspot. I will put a link to their site in the notes below. Uh, it, with a retail price of $195, I believe that this is Narwhal's most expensive model they have produced to date. Um, it's slightly more than the standard Nautilus, and given the additional expense of the Custom Brooks resin, that increase in price is understandable. Um, while I feel the price of just under $200 is on the high side of the valuation proposition for this pen, I don't feel it's unreasonable and would not be upset paying that price for this pen. Okay, in regard to the giveaway, in order for a, a chance to make one of these pens your very own, all you need to do is to be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment below in YouTube. In regard to a comment topic, um, if you could make a narwhal pen like this from a custom resin of your choosing, um, how about you let me know what palette or, or color scheme you would choose. The comment topic is just a suggestion and not required to enter. Uh, 72 hours after the posting of this video, I'll randomly select a comment to win this pen. Now, I'll try this method again, but uh, please beware. Last time I ran a contest, there was a rogue YouTube account which used my profile picture and pretended to be me and replied to a bunch of folks letting them know they were on a short list to win the prize, whatever that would mean, and that they would need to contact them via Discord in order to learn what to do next. Uh, this was, of course, a scam. If someone contacted that person, they were told that in order to claim the prize, you'd have to send them a, an Amazon gift card or something something like that. Uh, just know that for this channel and virtually everywhere else, if it is a legitimate contest, you will never be asked to pay anything up front to receive your prize. Uh, that's a key indicator that someone is trying to nefariously separate you from your heart and money. So please be careful. So I'll try this method again, and hopefully there won't be any outside forces trying to ruin things. Uh, complete details can be found in the notes below. Okay, now time for some measurements size comparisons, and a writing sample with those three different kinds of nibs. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Narwhal Nautilus Primary Macchiato. Uh, now, again, I just wanted to show you the difference you're going to see in some of the material. You can see one has a considerable amount more of white, but I think they both look cool in their own right. In regard to those size comparisons, here it is with the original uh, Narwhal Nautilus, and you can see that this one has the porthole as opposed to the ink window. Uh, and then here it is with a uh, Narwhal school coal. And then here it is with the Narwhal original demonstrator. Then in regard to some other pens, here it is with a Pilot Custom 823. And then in regard to two pens that I'll be reviewing here in the near future, um, I have a brand new pen from Bennu, which is called the Euphoria Dream, which has some custom painting on it, which is interesting. Uh, and then I have the latest release from Visconti, which is their Dual Touch, which has metal as well as some leather on here. So I'm looking forward to getting a closer look at both of those models. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, um, here it is with the Pilot 823, 
and here it is with the original demonstrator, and then here it is with the Visconti dual touch. In regard to a writing sample, uh, I've gone ahead and pre-written a couple of lines here. Uh, this one here was with the medium nib, uh, and then the one below it is with the double broad. I find the double broad to be very smooth, but the nib that I wanted to focus on today is the Architect grind. So we have the Narwhal, Nautilus, Primary, Macchiato, and this is the Architect grind. And let's go ahead and do the writing sample. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Architect as well as other grinds, I do have a video all about nib grinds on my channel. But essentially, with an Architect grind, you're going to find that the downstrokes are fairly thin, but then the cross strokes are rather wide. And that it does give a fair amount of uh, flair to your writing with very little effort. Um, you're not going to get lots of flex out of this particular nib. That's not what it's meant for. Um, I do find the ink flow to be very generous on this one. And in regard to reverse writing, this particular architect grind is really not meant for reverse writing, but it does lay down an extra, extra fine line. And then in regard to some fast writing, The feed keeps up just fine. So here we have the Narwhal Nautilus Primary Macchiato. I think this is a really interesting uh, addition to the Narwhal lineup. Um, I really like the custom Jonathan Brooks resin and that uh, I think that the ink window fits in nice with the overall aesthetics of this pen. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check this pen out on the Gold Spot site. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as leave a comment in the notes below for your chance to win this very pen courtesy of Gold Spot. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.